Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Ruiz. My name is Tony Ruizano. This is episode 347 of the world famous, the university love, the best podcast, and one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this shindig online marketing moves, and we are coming to you live today. Today is July the 24th, 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, gather on in, gather on in. Ladies and gentlemen, we have something very important to talk about today. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about developing characters. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about doing the, doing something, you figuring it out, and it's working for you. And then we're going to talk about running, running with the thing that works for you now i'm going to give you two examples we're going to talk about two comedians today ladies and gentlemen we are going to talk about the great larry the cable guy whose real name is dan whitney okay and then we are going to talk about the dice man andrew dice clay we are going to talk about two guys who started off as just regular comedians and then <clears throat> they took a character in their act, a persona in their act, and then they made it, they turned that persona into money, millions, and millions of dollars, okay? And now we are going to discuss why if you can develop a character and people like it, let's say you do YouTube videos and you do this little... You have a little thing that you do, you know, and if people like it, you know, you should do more of it, you know, <clears throat> and then if he, more people like it, you should do more of it. And we're going to talk about why you should, sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you got to get on. If, if if there's a wave, you know, like let's say you let's say you have a way you do something, you have a segment in the show or whatever, you know, and it's popular and then it takes off and then it, you Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to hop on the wave. You know, now I'm not a surfer. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a, um, you know, I'm not a uh, big, big, big wave surfer. You know what I mean? But uh, I know one thing: I know how to ride something out. Okay, <laughs> uh, I know how to ride things out. All right? You, you, you take the character, you take the persona, you take the whatever, and you ride it out to 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 money. You know, you can make money now. <clears throat> Larry the Cable Guy, he was a comedian. His name, his, you know, his real name is Dan Whitney. And, you know, he, uh, I believe from Nebraska. And Larry the Cable Guy was just a part of his act, you know. And people loved it so much that he just started doing it on a full-time basis, you know. He just was like, Dan who? I'm going to be Larry the Cable Guy. And Larry the Cable Guy, you know, he he was on the uh, Blue Collar I believe the Blue Collar Tour, you know, with Jeff Foxworthy, and everybody knew Jack, Jeff Foxworthy, but, you know, Larry the Cable Guy, he was, like, the breakout star of the show. You know, the other two guys, they were established um, comedians. You know, they, they've they they've done well for themselves as well, but Larry the Cable Guy, it really took him into a whole nother stratosphere, you know, and for, and for a while there, you know, um, he was he's very popular. I don't even know if he does stand-up anymore too much, but, you know, for a while there, he, he rode that wave. He did He did a bunch of movies. You know, he headline tours, you know, he um he crushed it, you know, he knocked it out the park. He took that, he took that persona, you know, honed it, made it his own, you know, came up with it, kept doing it, kept doing it, you know, got better and better and people loved it. And then he took it to uh, you know, more fame and fortune than he probably ever ever thought of, you know. And that also takes me to Andrew Dice Clay, you know. <clears throat> he was his name is like Andrew Silverstein something like that and before you know the the Andrew Dice was the Dice man was just a part of his you know comic routine but people love the Dice man so much and they love the uh, nursery rhymes back now this is back in the day for, so for some of you youngsters some of you youngins that listen to the show you might want to go on the YouTube the YouTube and uh, check out the Dice man cuz in like 1988 you know 1988, 1989, uh, you, <laughs> some of you, some of you blokes won't believe this, but 1988, 1989, here in the good old United States of America, Andrew Dice Clay, Bobby Brown, 
they was like two of the biggest uh, stars, you know. Hey, I'm just telling you, okay. But uh, the Dice, the Dice, he was the first comedian to sell out Madison Square Garden, you know, like two nights in a row. He was, you know, headline. He was, you know, Dice was, as they say in wrestling, Dice was over. Over is over is going to get, you know what I mean? Hickory, Dickory, Doc, oh, all that, all that stick, you know, it, it was, I mean, it was, it was going for him, you know, and that was just a, a, a character, one of the characters he had in his comedy routine, but people love that, and they love the nursery, the nursery rhyme so much, you know, that he, he ran with it, and I remember he was on, like, MTV specials and MTV award shows and all this, and the Dice Man, he did a couple movies, and, you know, he made plenty of money out of this character you know what i mean and for you what what it can you can relate it to is let's say there's a type of video on youtube that you do and it and, and it hits okay and it hits and then you're like all right maybe i need to do maybe i need to do that you know maybe i need to focus on that what i'm saying is you most important thing you do, the most important thing you can do, you get started, okay? You get started because sometimes, and this, and, and this is for the people that don't know which direction they want to head into. This is for the people that don't know really what they want to, what they want to get into when it comes to online stuff, when it comes to marketing yourself, you know, <clears throat> you, 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 you start, you know, you just start, you know, and then Let's say you, you're doing all these kind of different videos, you know, and then you notice then you have to look, you know, now you got to pay attention. Now. You say, hey, man, I do these videos. I do these. Un Let's say you do these ungift, you do these gifting unboxing videos or whatever they call, them, you know, unboxing, you know, and people like the way you unbox or whatever, whatever, whatever you know. And so you're like, OK, so let me do some more of this. You know, you, 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 you do more of that, you know. You let's say you have a character that you that you're developing. Let's say you 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 want to be a funny you want to be a funny guy. You want to be a funny girl or something. You know you have a character that you develop and people like the character. You know and you're like oh people 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 like it. Do more of that. You know what I mean? Like you can develop it. You can hash it out. And you can make it work. You know. Now are you going to sell out Madison Square Garden? I mean I don't know, but you know. The thing about people developing characters, the thing about people developing, finding something that works for them is you can always go back to it. You know what I mean? Like you can always whenever you. You it's a base, you know what I mean? Like if you if you do it, if you're doing comedy, I, I see these guys on the on the Internet. I see this guy. He's like. Hey man, I I like to he does like animal videos or whatever. He does animal voiceovers or whatever. It's it's kind of cool. And then he's like, "Hey, I'm going to stop doing these animal videos for a while, you know." And then he stopped doing them for a while, and then everybody's like, "Hey man, do a, do an animal video." And he's like, "I'm going to bring it back one time." And then you know, he come he comes back. He does an animal video and people are like, "Hey, that's great, man." And I'll go check out your little comedy or whatever, you know. And you know, it's uh, it's it's something that he can fall back on. You know, it's character, it's a character that he has developed. You know, that works for him. You know, and sometimes you need these. They're not crutches, but sometimes you need these things. You know, and let's say there's a type of, you know, there's a type of podcast episode that people like that you that you done. You know, go back, do it again, and see if and see and see if you have something. You know, and then you can put it in the rotation. Don't have to do it every day, but if the people like it, the people enjoy it, bring it back on the bring it back on the rotation. You know what I mean? Like that's what happened for Laddie Cable Guy. That's what happened for you know Andrew Dice Clay. You know these were these are characters that they develop and they work for them. You know they had it was a gimmick and the and the, and the gimmick worked. The gimmick paid off. You know what I mean? It's like when I used to watch wrestling, you would see um, when Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, <laughs> He started doing this thing. It's, you don't, it's the dumbest thing ever, but it worked. He would, uh, he would just people would start talking. And he'd say, "What? What? What?" And twenty years later, people are still chanting "What?" in the in the wrestling audiences. So you know, I mean, 
some things some things you just have to try and some things will stick and sometimes you have to put that in your arsenal you you have to put that in your you know in your bag you know in your tool bag you know so developing characters sometimes is a good thing sometimes developing characters is a great thing and there's a lot of people that have developed a character or characters you know that works for them you know what i mean it's like when eddie murphy went back on saturday night live he did the hits you know people were like do buck not, not buckley but he did uh gumby he did mr rogers neighborhood you know and people were like oh i love mr rogers neighborhood blah 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 blah, blah you know <clears throat> i mean if you haven't if you haven't watched saturday night live in forever watch the episode at least because you you know in my opinion you know even though laddie cable guy is great and uh you know the dice man is great the you know my favorite comedian of all time will always be eddie murphy you know what i mean because i guess you know i grew up in the i was a child in the 80s but eddie murphy he was uh he was the funniest thing smoking for the whole decade you know what i mean but i mean you have to and uh if you have <laughs> if you if you want to see some characters you know watch uh <laughs> watch uh watch coming to america that's one of the that's one of the funniest comedies you'll ever see and eddie murphy had a lot of characters in that movie you know and uh character character development is good you know de developing a persona develop developing a character <clears throat> and now you know the thing about the cool thing is like Let's say you do host a, a a broadcast or you host a YouTube channel, you know, and you want to and you want to develop a character, you know, you definitely you definitely can do that because Andrew Dice Clay and Larry the Cable Guy has shown you that you can develop a you can develop a persona, you can develop a character, however you want to put it, whatever you want to call it, you can develop something, you know, and it can it can it can be very beneficial to you, you know what I mean, like. <clears throat> if the if the if the character is good if the character is great people will let you know you know and you can i mean there's been there's so many examples you know I, i'm not giving you two today but i don't want to you know we'll go <clears throat> you know, i thought about i thought about like adding other people but i'm like no these are two good examples so go back and just watch <clears throat> like type in you know like lad the cable like type in like dan whitney on youtube and you'll see you'll see him before he became <laughs> before the Larry the cable guy persona you know it's kind of it's kind of neat to watch and i don't know why i watched a couple of clips and i'm like oh that's funny you know but he developed a character and made a lot of money and andrew dice clay you know he developed a character and he made a lot of money and and this is this is nothing new but you know, it's just two. It's just two examples that I know. Two examples that I think I'm like, you know, that's pretty cool. You know, and for you, you know, it's not about. It, it's not fake. You know what I mean? I, I know a lot of times we, you know, say, oh, you know, be yourself, be yourself. But if you can, if you can, if you in your mind can develop a whole nother persona, a whole nother character, like that's pretty cool. That's pretty creative. You know what I mean? And you use that. <clears throat> to your advantage and you use that in your videos and stuff and it's and you're funny and you're entertaining you know the whole thing is the whole like you don't have to be knocked down drag out funny you know like i don't i don't want you to think you have to be you know zinging every you know you don't you, you ain't gonna be jeff ross you know what i mean you don't have to zing jokes every five minutes you know you know but people want entertainment people want to learn and people also want to be entertained you know what i mean like no no you don't want to you don't want to bore people to death you know <clears throat> some episodes you know you you you, you know you're not always going to be a hundred on a hundred you know but you know some episodes you're going to do some episodes you you do you'll 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 think hey man i'm, I'm doing great you know some episodes you're like eh but you know the one thing that you don't want to be is boring you know what i mean like you you want to come strong with those opinions you also want to come strong with the entertainment, but you also want to come strong with the information. You know what I mean? And when you do that, the more the more you do that, the more people you will get behind you, the more people you get to like you, the more people you will get to love you, the more people you will get to follow you. And then you'll start making all the money.
Jeez. I'm just, I'm just I'm kidding about that part. But I mean, at the end of the day, you do want to start making, you do, you do want to start making some money. You know what I mean? Like I know people are like, uh, it's not about the money, but money doesn't, money doesn't hurt you. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. You know. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any? Do you? <clears throat> well, I, right now I'm recording. I'll, I'll open, I'll open the curtain for you t- today. Ladies and gentlemen, right now it's 7.30 p.m. on a Saturday night. So I have a question for you. Well, if you're in Australia right now, it's like 9.30. It's not 30 in the morning. So you, know, um, you might you might be at church. But for the rest, the rest of you, you know, well, if you're in if you're in London, it's what, like midnight? So you might you might you might be drunk by now, you know. <clears throat> I'm, I'm only kidding. And uh, you know, in Hawaii it's probably like 2 30 right now, you know, but for me, I live in Georgia. It's seven. Th- it's seven thirty p.m. at the time I'm recording this. So I, I was going to ask you, what are your plans? You know, me myself, I'm about to, I'm about to hop in my car, go get me and my mother in law some, uh, some, uh, some good old Zaxby's. If you never had Zaxby's, you don't know what you're missing out on. Crinkle cut fries, anybody? Huh? Exactly. All right. But uh, what, what do you got planned this weekend? Me, I have no plans. You know. <laughs> My wife is uh Tuesday. No, uh, uh, I believe either Tuesday or Thursday. She has to go to the hospital because they're gonna be they're gonna be doing something with the baby. So I might be a little busy next week. Some of these, <clears throat> it might be there might be one day next week that we uh, miss. I doubt it though, but we're gonna we're gonna figure that out, uh, and I'll keep you I'll keep you posted. But um. Oh yeah! Before I go, I want to I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about something very important. I want to talk to you about Facebook ads. Okay. Now lately, I've been doing little ads on Facebook about the podcast because you know we got to get ourselves out here, ladies and gentlemen. Your boy, your pal, the uh, El Pre- El Presidente of the online marketing moves, you know, podcast and the Facebook. Facebook page and all that stuff. We got to get out here. You know what I mean? <clears throat> we are, you know, we are going down the pipe and I feel like we have a lot of great information to put out. I figure we have a, a lot of great content to get put out. So we got to get the word out, you know, so I've been doing these Facebook ads and I will let you know, I will let you know in the next month or so how these Facebook ads are going. They're very small, you know, but I also wanted to, I also wanted to tell you, you don't have to spend a lot of money on Facebook ads to be effective. You know what I mean? You don't have to blow the budget. What you can do is you can niche it down, find find a smaller audience. Don't try to go too broad, you know. Find a smaller audience and put down like 10 bucks, put down 5 bucks, you know, 20 bucks for like the week, you know, just to see how it goes, you know, right? And write 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 an ad you think will be good, you know, right? something persuasive you know write something that you think people you know kind of curious you know and then that way people will click on your people will click on your website people will click on your your video they will click on your podcast whatever you whatever you, it is you're doing you know try to try to think of and if you want some you have you ever read like the national and <laughs> the national Enquirer things like that like you should check out some of those headlines if you want to find good, good headlines, you know, like <laughs> funny, kind of like entertaining, curiosity headlines, you know, look at magazine newspapers like that. You know, I remember I used to walk by there when I was a kid and they used to have the most maybe like three headed alien and, you know, in a barn and, and you know, at Fair Foster. <laughs> Fair foster house or something, something wild like that. And it's like, what? And so you would grab the paper and you open it. What are they talking about? So, you know, you just want to get, you know, if you know anybody that's good at headlines or if you know anybody that's good at, you know, writing creative headlines, creative ads, then have them help you out. But if you want to get better at it yourself, then, you know, don't spend a lot of money. Hell, you can even do like a dollar a day for like five days, you know, just to see, just to see where you're at, you know. I started that. A while ago, like I would write these 
ads and Craigslist and I would write these ads in different different places just to see how my you know create creative my copywriting was you know sometimes I did all right sometimes I did not so not so good but you know it's a it's a it's a developing skill that you want to have you know you want to be able to not only do you want to be able to you know maybe not so much write good copy but you want to know what good copy is you know so that way let's say you get a website you get a you get a product and you pay somebody to write your copy you you don't want you don't want to just be reading it and you think oh that's great and it's and it's total crap you know what i mean like you want to be able to know what's good and you want to be able to know what works and you want to be able to know you know what you're paying for so you also want to know from that perspective so i highly suggest if you have a podcast if you have a youtube channel if you have whatever you know go somewhere you know write out a little you know ad about why people should watch it thing you know and see how see how it works so you know because lately i've done like two 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 ads and we've had a bump in the you know the listenership of the podcast and you know now we're gonna do once i create these products and stuff after the you know the baby and, and all that once the baby's born then we can really start rocking and rolling but we're gonna start doing more more of that stuff you know more more ads more you know really gonna start honing in on getting bigger numbers you know getting more people getting more guests you know like and so i want the same for you so i want you to start practicing your copyright i want you to start realizing what you need to do to get to where you want to go you know like let's start honing in on the emails let's start honing in on the copywriting let's start honing in on all the skills that you need to develop your internet marketing abilities you know because at the end of the day all this is about everything you do is about persuading is about selling it's about telling somebody to why they should listen to you why they should buy your product why they should buy if you need affiliate marketing why they should buy a product from somebody else from you you know through you you know so you you want to start honing in all the skills you want to start working at it you want to start practicing you know the more you practice the better you will get you know and as i as i told you before you know when it comes like this podcast you want to start creating content start creating content you know give it the first 30 days don't worry about numbers don't worry don't worry about who's listening don't worry about any of that what you what i want you to do whether it doesn't matter if you're writing if you're doing videos if you're podcasting, it doesn't matter what you're doing. What I want you to do, if you if you haven't started already, first 30 days, don't worry about a, don't worry about money. Do not worry about that. Don't worry about money. Don't worry about who's watching. Don't worry about who's listening. The first 30 days, what I want you to do every day, whatever it is you want to start. You want to start doing videos, first 30 days. Do a video every day. Do a video every day, and you will get better. Do a podcast every day, first 30 days. And I'm telling you, you'll see there's, there's a big difference. There'll be a big difference from day one to day 30. You know, it's muscle. It's memory. It's it's well, you working at it. If you want to blog, you know, write something every day. It doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be Ernest Hemingway. You know what I mean? 30, 30 minutes a day, an hour a day. Write something, write anything, write a article. And you'll see just, just you only have to write an article. Just write whatever you want to write about, you know, write about anything. Just start writing and you'll see by the end of the 30 days how much you just once you start flowing it out, it'll just start coming out of you. You know, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it, you know, because listen, I know all of us are not going to, you know, everybody that listens to this program is not going to achieve probably what they want to achieve. You know, like I have to be realistic about that. But what I do want is the people that really want it. I really want it for you. You know what I mean? Like. If you want it, I want you to go get it. I want you to take it. You know, it's not going to be given to you. It's not going to be easy because there's a lot of people these days that, quote unquote, want to be entrepreneurs. There's a lot of people that, quote unquote, want to create content. There's a lot of people that want to, you know, do the things that we are doing. But there's a difference in wanting to and there's a difference in doing it. You know, we, you and I, we're going to do it. Other people, they want it, but we are going to do it, you know. And that's the most important thing. Wanting to do something, if you want to do something, go ahead and do it, you know. Figure it out. It's not, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's tough, you know. 
And sometimes you have to, and some, hey, listen, I know from firsthand, sometimes you have to fight yourself. You think to yourself, why me? Why, why should people listen to me? You know, hey, you, once you get over that, you get over that mindset, you know, you get out of that thinking and then you just start doing it and you'll see it's, it, it's a thousand times better. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I know we talked about <laughs> developing characters and now we're on to, you know, but I just want, you know, like, you know, I've been at this for a while, you know, and, you know, I want other people that are thinking about it or other people that are, you know, might be on the fence. I want them to realize that, hey, man, it's, you know, hey, one man, man, <laughs> nah, I want you to realize that it's it's tough, but it's not tough at the same time. You know what I mean? Because the main thing is you just have to start doing it. Once you start doing it, you know, then once you start rocking and rolling. You'll see, man. You you'll enjoy it. You'll like it, and you'll 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 learn to love it. You know, or you you probably you will love it. You'll grow to love it. You know, it's it's fun. So, but ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the that's that's it for today's episode of the podcast. We will be back tomorrow with the all new episode of Online Marketing and Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening, and as always, everybody. Peace.